Hey guys, welcome to a new video in this Hawk and Face playlist. So in this playlist here, we're pretty much just going to cover every single aspect and element of the Hawk and Face platform, all the way from how you can set up data sets, pipelines, and so on, test out models. So this is basically just GitHub, but for machine learning. In this video here, we're going to talk about natural language processing, what it is and how we can use it with Hawk and Face. Then in the future videos, we're going to talk about computer vision, how we can set up pipelines, test out different models and so on, and even how you can deploy them directly with Hawk and Face. If you're interested in machine learning, AI and so on, I also have my AI career program. You can check it down in the description. Pretty much just teach you everything, personal branding, how you can land AI jobs, start freelance work and so on, and also all my technical courses. So just jump straight into the Hawk and Face website here. Right now we're just at the home page. At the top here, if we go inside our tab, we can then see we have these different tasks. All these tasks here are supported with Hawk and Face. So we both have computer vision. We're going to cover that in a future video. We have natural language processing, and then we also have audio and multimodalities. So everything is pretty much coming together. When we're talking about natural language processing, you've probably heard about the large language models, GPT model, ChatGPT, Claude, and all those models. They're basically taking over the natural language processing space, but also starting to be very interesting in the computer vision world and also combining vision, natural language processing, and also audio. But it could be that we have some specific cases where we want to fine tune our own custom models for question answering, sentence similarities, how can you do similarity search and so on, depending on sentences or just text classification. So instead of like sending API calls to a large model, host your own models and so on, you can just have text classification. Could be that you're creating like an email spam system. You can just do text classification if this email is spam or not. So just take the whole tech, throw it into the model and so on. So when we're talking about natural language processing, we're talking about text. So how can we take text throw it into a model and actually like get it to do useful stuff. So inside Hawk and Face here, we can see we have all these different tasks within the natural language processing. So first of all here, we can do feature extraction. So basically extracting features from a text. This is very similar to computer vision, fill mask, question answering. So this can also be done with large language models, summarization, table questioning, answering, sentence similarities, and so on. If you just go inside one of them, we can even see how many models are available directly with Hawk and Face. We can set up pipelines. We're going to cover like pipelines, all of that in future videos. Because a good thing with Hawk and Face is that you can have everything up and running with just a few lines of code. You can pull all these models available directly. You just need to specify the path exactly as they were using GitHub. So this is basically just GitHub, but for machine learning and AI. So let's go inside the text classification here. And then we can see a pretty nice overview. It's very good documentation that you can go through as well. We can also go inside the documentation at the top and we're going to cover all of these throughout the playlist. We also have the introduction video to the Hawk and Face platform where I go over all of these different stuff, all the tabs up here at the top with the models, data set, spaces and so on. They also have this daily research papers. Transformers, really cool in here. Diffusers, we have data sets, great deal for basically just setting up quick demos and so on. Those are the main ones that we're going to cover, but also the inference API, inference endpoint. So how can I actually deploy models, have them running inside Hawk and Face, then we can just send the request to it, get the response back and use it in our own applications and projects. This can both be used for computer vision, natural language processing with transformers and so on. So you can even go in and deploy your own large language models. A large language model would be in the natural language processing space. So basically for text classification is that we want to assign a label to a specific text that we're referring to it. So it could be like a whole email, a sentence, could also just be a few word. Then we want to throw it into our text classification model. They have a bunch of different models that you can test out directly in here and also auto train them if you have your own data set. So we can set up whole training pipelines both for natural language processing and also computer vision with Hagen Face. And we're going to see that with just a few lines of code, couple of different libraries and so on. We can connect all of them, glue all the individual parts and elements together with Hawk and Face, and then we can have whole machine learning pipelines up and running in production. You can use it out of the box in your own projects and applications. So the output from the text qualification model would basically just be like positive, neutral, or negative, depending on the input that you throw into it. So this is really cool. And inside each of these tasks for natural language processing, they have some pretty good guides with some use cases, task variants, and so on, and also code snippet of how you can run it. We're going to dive way more into details with this. This is again, just an introduction to natural language processing. We're also going to do it for computer vision. And then we're going to dive way more into details, how you can set up these pipelines, 
what it does under the hood, how to set up the pipelines connected with each other and so on. So that's really cool. So stay tuned for those videos. If you just want to do inference here uh, with the transformer library for tech classification, we can basically just set up a pipeline to infer with NLI model. So it's basically just natural language inference. So I'll just copy this code snippet. I'll just go inside my code editor here and copy paste the code snippet. I'm going to create a new file. So that will just be NLP intro dot pi. And then we're going to create basically all the folders, all the code here will be available in here. And I'll also upload to my GitHub, which you can find down in the description. So I'm just going to paste it in here, save the code file and make it a bit bigger for you guys. So here we can just see that from transformers, we can import this pipeline and for the pipeline, we can just specify this specific task here. So if you want to do like instant segmentation in computer vision, text classification, question answering, and so on. You just need to specify the task here and then the model that you want to use. So the model that you can specify, you can just pull an arbitrary one from the model registry that they have on Hagen phase and they have hundreds of thousand models available in there directly. It's going to automatically download it to your computer so you can use it in your applications and projects. And again, this is just a few lines of code that we need to take care of. So right now here, we can just see that we have our classifier. We set up our pipeline, specify the task, the model, and then we can just call a classifier. So this will just be a call method to our pipeline. So a soccer game with multiple mates playing, some men are playing a sport. So let's go ahead and see what it can actually come up with here. So let's just open a terminal. First of all, make sure that you actually like install uh, the transformers. So we just need to pip install to start with. Pip install transformers and we're going to dive way more into details with all the documentation what you can do and so on with the transformer library because this is really important to understand and just save the code snippet there we go and now we can just run our python script so that will be nlp intro let's run it and then it's going to extract the model automatically to our computer so now we can see that it's pulling the model automatically this is a bit larger one so we can see here it is one point 43 gigabytes. So we just have the config to JSON and also model.save tensor. So this is just a specific format that Hogan Face is using. Again, it's basically just a registry. You can have repositories in there, upload your models, have your create your interfaces to show demos and so on. And we're going to cover that in future videos. So definitely stay tuned for that. So right now we can see that we have hardware acceleration. GPU is available in the environment, but no device argument is passed. So it both automatically detects if you want to use the GPU or CPU. So now we can basically just see like this classifier here should probably return a result. So let's just see classifier and then we should just be able to print it. There we go and we can just do it again because now we have already downloaded the model automatically so we will load it faster. If we just open it up here to the right, there we go. Now we can see that we print out the results. So it, the label is entailment and we also get a confidence score. So this is really confident that it is act like entailment when we're doing this text classification on this specific prompt. So So let's just try to throw this text into it now and see what it classifies it as. So just have this custom text. Again, you can you can use this in your own projects directly out of the box. It's just a single line of code and you have all of this up and running. So right now it's just neutral and we also have a score here. So this is specific for the model. You need to go in and figure out what it acts like class and so on, but we're also going to see how we can go in and fine tune it. But this is really helpful if you create like an email spam system, could be like customer reviews and so on. If you want to classify your customer reviews into different categories and so on. So this is really helpful. This is just an introduction to the natural language processing space. We're going to do it with computer vision as well. And then we're going to dive into all the details behind the pipelines, data set, how you can set up the whole pipeline with computer vision, natural language processing, deploy the models, use them in your own applications and projects. So definitely stay tuned for those videos, guys. Until then, happy learning.